Gaming on your Apple Watch. Yes, it's a thing, and it's very fun. Welcome back, everybody, to part six of the series where we go through a bunch of different cool gaming apps that you can download on your smartwatch. Now, these are games that I test out and make sure they're worthy for me to actually recommend. They're not going to cause you any issues where the application will totally crash. They're fully optimized and enjoyable, which is what I like. I'm sure you do, too. So as I mentioned, this is part six of the series. If you guys want to check out the rest, if you're new to the series, make sure to watch that playlist afterwards where you go one through five. But now with that introduction out of the way, let's get started. This first game app on our list is actually like an educational learning quiz style game, which I actually found to be fun. It's called Chinesey Cards and it teaches you some Chinese. Where it actually uses like little icons on pictures and we'll quiz you at the end. So this one means person, because imagine the little hands in the head, and then you get this funny animation as soon as you succeed, and you continue progressing with this caterpillar looking thing. This writing is male adult in Chinese, apparently. And uh, this is small, just by looking at these eyes and the way the mouth is. So this is gonna be a male adult, and you simply just progress. This is one, so they're showing you as if it's one finger, two fingers. So this is clearly two, two lines. Caterpillar getting bigger. And I'm actually learning some Chinese. This is three, and that's four, which is confusing. So this was that small face, so this is gonna be small. That's five. Uh, I, that's gonna take me a while to memorize. So this is sun slash day, so two means at once. We get the small one again. So that's basically the entire concept of this game. Is this is more your alley? Definitely do check out this game. It's a learning curve game, which you come back the next day to learn more. Now, if classic games are more up your alley, check out Game for Apple Watch. It's jam packed with a bunch of iconic games that we should know and love by now. You have Tic Tac Toe, Hangman costs a dollar to unlock, Sudoku is also paid to unlock, Match Them is free, Whack a Bug. And Sliding Blocks is also free, but only those two games require an in-game app purchase. So let's start off with Matchem. I'm sure we all play this once in our lifetime, where you simply just match the two cards. So in this case, they're utilizing emojis. Just presenting this game and showing you guys a demo on video, I'm like, I'm already somewhat, I'm already addicted, like I want to complete this. Okay, this game is so tricky because there's so many, but there we go, we got it. Let's go ahead and also check out the Sliding Block game. So again, it's one of these type of puzzle games. Now this is definitely going to take some time to complete, but that's basically this application in a nutshell. This third gaming application is called Vegas Bowling. It's a 3D virtual bowling alley, and it actually looks really nice and plays smoothly too. To roll the bowling ball, simply just do this and there it goes, rolling off. It also does a cool close-up shot and tally up the score right there underneath. I'm actually genuinely surprised how quick the game itself loads and how quickly you get back and roll another. Now, just by watching this, you may say to yourself, it's really easy to get a strike. It's actually really hard and challenging, as it does require speed, but you also have to make sure your finger's actually straight because you can curve the bowling ball at an angle. There's also a competitive mode where you can actually compete against an AI. And again, I'm genuinely surprised how quick it loads. And if you're using something like the Series 4 Apple Watch, I love that it actually does utilize the screen. Because, I mean, the graphics don't look that bad for a just smartwatch game. This next game, it's called Tap to Dash Bird. And this is an application, a gaming app that I love and hate. I hate it because it's so competitive and tricky to get the hang of. It's honestly like Flappy Birds, but more frustrating. This game becomes annoying because sometimes I accidentally use too much pressure and will use force touch and I'll freeze the game for a little bit. I don't know if this was intentional, but you have to get it to a point where it doesn't like force touch, if that makes sense. Like, it's not like Flappy Birds where you constantly tap. You have to, the bird itself moves and then you tap on it, not too hard, but not too light, where it causes the bird to dash through without crashing into anything. It's a really frustrating game, but I somehow keep going back to it and wanting to continue playing until I master it. So if this is more up your alley, check out this game. Because I know some people enjoy frustrating games like this. Similar to like, impossible game. Hit like, I want to know who still remembers that game. 
Now, Mini Watch 24 and 1 is actually the only paid to download application that's going to be on this list. But hear me out, this one's actually worth it. Because out of the 24 games, you get a bunch of iconic ones. Like already you see 2048, which I'm not going to play because I suck at it. I know that. And you also got Blocky Birds, which is basically like Flappy Birds, but less competitive and repetitive like the one we were just recently playing. And then we got Block Run, which is kind of like Temple Runner. Try to evade obstacles. Try to jump over everything and dodge. It's actually really fun. And then we got Brick Break, which is like Pong. It's this type of style game, not really Pong. I forgot the name of the one that does this, but we're going to continue through. You know what it is, I'm pretty sure. Brick Fall, basically it's Tetris, which I really do like. If you've been wanting to find a Tetris game, 24 and 1 has it and plays really well. And then you got Car Car. We're going to go ahead and check this one out. This one, the objective is to move the car to the circle. So you're controlling two cars at once in order to continue. It's really challenging. Trust me. I keep failing and crashing. And then we got Car Store, which I'm terrible at car games, so I'm not going to attempt. Stick Jump, which is kind of like a Mario Run style game. I hit my head on there. Oh, that's disappointing. And the list goes on and on. You also got Snake. Then you got Frog Road, which is this cool dimension, Frogger style game. Try not to get hit by cars. I've already failed. Again, it utilizes the Series Force display, so no matter what game you select, it's always going to look really nice. And uh, this game is definitely worth its value. You can also bookmark these things by putting a little star here. So if there are certain games you want to play, you can just hit the star and bam, quick access. Enjoy trivia games and you are a candy connoisseur. Well, go ahead and test out your skills by downloading the Guess Candy app. Because apparently I can't tell the difference between a Butterfinger and a Snicker. This game basically just quizzes you and you have to guess the correct candy to the pitcher. And tries throwing you off by putting the wrong logo on the wrong photo. There's other versions to this game. So there's one for celebrities and restaurants. I think I featured a restaurant one before, but the candy one was new. And uh, I could definitely see other people getting good enjoyment out of this. Now, Modern Magic 8-Ball. This application is categorized under games, but it's not so much of a standalone game. Because this one, again, requires somebody else to be with you in order for it to be really enjoyable. But if you're dining with your friends and you want to have some entertainment, whip out this application and start asking random questions. You may also force touch to go to different categories if you want to spice things up. My Magic says yes, that's very modern. Most likely, yeah, that's really likely will this video get a thousand likes somehow some way it's likely cool oh okay let's try the fast food place where should we go out and eat wendy's yum and just keep tapping it yeah it's gonna give us other sh fast food chains that's pretty cool so that's magic eight ball in a nutshell udlr swipe is our next game and this one was recommended to me by a friend to go ahead and try out and test out and from what he explained, it was kind of like a rhythm style game. Where the instructions say, play by tapping the correct side of the ring. Okay. Color determines the correct side to tap. All right. So let's quickly tap the top side. That color, I guess that side. Is it, do I keep continuing? Do I keep tapping the white? Okay. And I just keep doing this until I keep going. And I only got 11. Okay, I'm already confused. Uh, tap to play, bottom. There, red, blue, that side? Okay. Uh, <laughs> down, blue. All right, this this game was totally new. I just started playing this. I just did this one off request. 11, okay, I think I did better than last time. Force press, play. Okay, force press to reset. And up, down. So just keep doing this as quickly as possible. All right, needless to say, I still haven't figured out this game. If you guys want to try a weird, bizarre game that kind of reminds me of uh, Bop It because you're following the arrows, I guess, check out this game. That's all I got to say. And let me know down in the comment section if I was playing this game right. Fantastic Chef is the game of this app, and it kind of reminds me of somewhat like Pac-Man, where you have to quickly swipe to collect the heart. And then there's also daily rewards where you can actually spin the wheel, 
collect some materials which this material this item will be used actually inside the physical game on your iPhone so both the iPhone and the Apple watch are connected but they both have their own separate game on different platforms but the whole objective is just to simply beat your high score fill up the meter and try not to get attacked by those other evil looking things and it's really fun and can definitely get intense now this final one is called Infinity Loop. Now we featured a similar application like this in the past, I believe this was part 2, but that one required you to buy some additional levels. This one, it's 100% free. You don't have to do this, it's a puzzle game, somewhat of a quiz game as you're trying to connect all the loops together and uh, it can be really fun and distracting if that's what you're trying to resolve is boredom. I think that's the entire point for these Apple Watch games, if you have nothing to do and a quick puzzle game is right there and available, go ahead and play it. It's no different than a puzzle game that you find on a magazine. Just this is more convenient because it's already on your wrist. But there we have it, that was 10 fun gaming apps to download on your Apple Watch. Again, the, all of these were surprisingly free this time, except for one, but that one's actually worth it because you get a bunch of other ones for just $3. Same use space on your application list, and storage i assume as well but that's gonna be it for this video if you want to stay tuned for the next one make sure to hit that subscribe button definitely remember to also leave this video a like when i see those likes i know you guys want to see more and that encouraged me to do more research to roll out the next one so if you want to see the next one come out sooner make sure to leave a like and if you missed the previous one click on the little card but that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching take care and i'll catch you all in the next one peace